Hello and welcome back to the channel. So here comes the Russian tourniquet video, which I have promised to some of you at least. So Russian tourniquets, they are basically rubber bands. They are called the Esmarka or the Esmash, you know, whatever you want to call them, tourniquets. And they are related to something like the Swati or just the Israeli rubber band. I don't have one here to show you today, but they're basically a blue swati, which they use, or you know, green or whatever color they have, without the fancy picturing on it. So this is the old model. This is the new model. The new model, which I got at least, comes with a small instruction sheath, how to use it. You can pause here if you want to. And then some additional information and a production date. So, the old model has been around for quite a few years. Um, I think I read that it's been around since uh, the Afghan days. So it's, you know, and, and it's still being issued, this model. This model is not so common yet, mm, but it's in use as well. And then uh, I've seen Russian forces using cat tourniquets and similar as well. The old model and the new model they differ in a few different ways. First of all is the locking system or the attachment system when you finished tensioning it down. The old model has these plastic plugs which you attach to the tourniquet like a belt. Or how I've heard it being recommended is that you just remove these ones and you just tie it off with a knot. The new model has this system which is a uh, bungee cord which goes around and then over loops this part kind of like you would tie off a bandage you know, something like that and these are also used as pressure bandages like the Israeli just together with a uh, normal IPP you know, this is the old model, the new model comes packaged, something like this. But it's basically the same as the old model. It's a field dressing sort of thing. You know, here's a small Israeli field dressing. It doesn't have the elastic band, it has gauze, but it has two pads, one for an entrance and one for an exit wound. And they also use this packaging as it's sterile on the inside, as a chest seal, as you would with the Israeli bandage. They use these ones, of course, in the neck area, armpits, and uh, groin area together with a um, S-mark tourniquet as a press press pressure bandage. Yeah, and you know, here's a carrying option. Something like this will be used on the gear. So let's look at these ones. First of all, one thing to mention is that you do not want to train with the ones you planning on using on yourself because as it is rubber even though it says that it can be used many times uh, they, they lose quite a bit of their spring tension at least these old ones I haven't used the new one enough to to comment on that yet but I would not train with the one I use especially with a locking system like this and temperature wise you know rubber bands in Freezing temperatures always has a risk of snapping, you know, so keep that in mind as well if you're in minus 25 all the time and You want to carry this on the outside of your gear Maybe something like a softy wide would be better as it's only metal and nylon You know So how do they work? Well first Small one the old one, you know, it's a smaller than Than the new model it's more narrow, but it's intended to overlap when you wrap it. Okay. How you start off is that you go past the area of the holes, you tension your first wrap, and then you overlap. And then this keeps tension on itself, and it's pretty effective in what it does. And then you keep tension for about two and a half turns, is what I've heard is recommended. You check pulse. Bleeding has stopped, there is no pulse, 
you can wrap it loosely. If you need more tension, continue wrapping tight. So you wrap it loose, you know, overlapping if you want to, if not, it doesn't matter. And then you tie it off either by using these plastic attachment points or as recommended by the army is to just use a normal knot to tie it off because this is not what keeps the tension the tension is kept by the rubber band so you just don't want them to flop around the new model is as I told you wider it is thicker it has these this type of texturing on it this is to prevent tissue damage you know does it work mm. maybe maybe not but you know it's there to prevent the damage as being wider as well it has more tension to it it is a stronger rubber and it's shorter than the previous model maybe due to the new system here especially with the tying off type here so the way you would use this one is very similar to the previous model you tension the first wrap and then it keeps tension on itself and this works very well and you keep wrapping pretend this is your arm when you come to the end you use this rubber band you go around the limb and over this will keep it perfectly tensioned until this one breaks, but you know, it, it works out pretty well. Pretty well. It keeps good tension. I've tried it on my arm, check for pulse, no pulse. So it works same as this one as well. This one works just fine as well. So yeah, that's the Russian tourniquet, the model alpha. I can I can recommend this one. If you want something different than a rat's tourniquet or something different than a SWAT T. This is a good thing in between. I would go with this one over the old model, honestly. Um, as it seems more sturdy, more effective. Only thing is this one can snap. Just be careful when you use it. You know. Just be careful. Use it how it's intended. And you have a good tourniquet here. And these are really cheap. Like, they cost next to nothing. The only thing you will pay for is shipping, really. So, yeah compared to a rats this may may be a couple of bucks for one of these tourniquets you know it, it is really cheap um, so if you find a Russian store which ships to where you live you're not gonna pay much for either one of them you might pay for shipping so I paid uh, next next to nothing really I paid about $15 in shipping from Russia uh, from the store which I bought it from but the tourniquet itself I bought some bandages it's pretty much free so yeah that's the russian tourniquet video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching